This video is sponsored by Altium. There are different applications of ChatGPT. Let us discuss how we can use the ChatGPT as a Linux terminal. It enables the terminal and you must write the following tags in the chat box. This text is taken from this link, twitter.com, with the courtesy of Jonas DeGrave. Here, if we write this text in the text box, once you log in to ChatGPT, it will give you the response in the form of like. It will act as a Linux terminal. Here in this case, you can see that if I write this text in the text box, it will become a Linux terminal. It would give you the current directory, and then you can further write more Linux commands if you know about Linux, and it will behave like a Linux terminal. Let us see the chat GPT acting as a Linux terminal demonstration. We need to go to the OpenAI and log into chat GPT. Here, first of all, I write this command. I search this chat GPT in Google. Then you find the first link. Open this link, and then this screen is open up here. Here you can go to this button at the bottom left. You can try chat GPT by clicking here. Let us try it. It will be directed to the chat GPT page. I was already logged in, and it did not ask me again to log in. Now I am logged into the chat GPT environment and can write anything. Let us see how we can turn this chat GPT into a Linux terminal. For that, we need to write the text or prompt here. It will act like a Linux terminal. Let me write this text here. I wrote, I want you to act as a Linux terminal. I'll type the commands and you will reply with what the terminal should show. I want you to only reply with the terminal output inside one unique block and nothing else. Here, do not write an explanation because ChatGPT gives you the explanation. Do not type commands unless I instruct you to do so. When I need to tell you something in English, I'll put text inside curly brackets like this. My first command is to pwd parent working directly. Now I have given this command to the chat GPT. Let us see how it will give us a response based on this prompt. This video is sponsored by Altium, the industry standard and most professional PCB design software on the market. I've used Altium for designing printed circuit boards to build my own custom Arduinos and high-speed on-edge computer vision projects. When I tested other PCB CAD softwares out there, I found that nothing came close to the flexibility ease of use and power of Altium Designer. I mean, if you ever worked on PCB design for computer vision applications, you know that transmitting video signals is a very delicate task with many high-speed signals that you have to consider in terms of electromagnetic noise and crosstalk. Altium helps you to easily manage and route high-speed signals with length tuning to ensure that you receive clear image quality on the other end. What's really great is that we have partnered up with Altium to bring you an exclusive discount for our Augmented Startups community. Sign up with the link down below to get 30% off monthly of the perpetual license of Altium Designer. You can also try out Altium Designer for free for the first 15 days. Just click the link down below to get started. This is one of the coolest things you can get OpenAI ChatGPT to do. It will pretend it's a fully functioning Linux terminal. You can even use Linux commands, create files, directories, and a lot more. You can even write and compile code within the terminal and execute it if you want. To enable this terminal, we have to write the text, which we already wrote here. Now it is acting as a Linux terminal. Let me write a Linux command, like I am going to write Echo Obama, so it should work as a Linux terminal. I need to refresh it for that, and I need to go again to this, and let me write that text again, which is for making it a Linux terminal. Let us see how it will act as. If you know about Linux, you should know the output should be the name which comes here. Let me write another command, pwd parent working directory. It should give me another output, the path of the parent directory. It says the parent working directory is the home user. Let me try another command, ls. This is for listing inside the directory. What are the folders or files available? This is used for that. Let us see how ChatGPT will give us the response. This is a beautiful application of the ChatGPT to make it like a full Linux terminal. Now it has given us a list of desktops, documents, downloads, music, pictures, public, and templates. Still, it is blinking here. Let me write here ls minus l, but it is still generating the previous command's response. So we have to wait for that. Now it has been generated. This should give us the details of each folder. It says a total of 64 with access, who is the user, and what are the access settings. It gave us all of these folders in our system, just like a Linux terminal. This is a beautiful application of ChatGPT. Here you can see it gives us the details of all the commands. It says that this was the user, this is the size, and this was created on January 15th, and desktop, documents, download, music, pictures, public templates, videos. 
This was all about using ChatGPT as a Linux terminal. 